Have you ever stopped to ponder the secret ingredient that ensures the reliable operation of a DC generator? It all boils down to a critical factor known as critical field resistance. Imagine a generator as a delicate balancing act where the magnetic field strength determines the output voltage. Critical field resistance acts as the crucial tipping point in this balance. It's the precise resistance value that separates a generator's ability to build up voltage from its inability to do so. Understanding this critical parameter is essential for anyone working with DC shunt generators. So, let's delve into the fascinating world of critical field resistance and unravel its significance in maintaining stable and reliable voltage for all our electronic needs. DC shunt generators are fascinating machines that rely on a delicate interplay between magnetism and electricity to generate power. At the heart of their operation lies the concept of electromagnetic induction, a phenomenon discovered by the brilliant Michael Faraday. In simple terms, when a conductor moves through a magnetic field, an electric current is induced in the conductor. A DC shunt generator utilizes this principle by spinning a coil of wire, known as the armature, within a magnetic field created by stationary electromagnets called field windings. As the armature rotates, it cuts through the magnetic field lines, inducing a voltage across its terminals. This voltage, however, is not constant and needs to be regulated to provide a steady output. This is where the shunt field winding comes into play. Connected in parallel with the armature, the shunt field winding creates an additional magnetic field that interacts with the armature's field. By adjusting the current flowing through the shunt field winding, we can control the strength of the overall magnetic field and, consequently, the generator's output voltage. But how do we determine the precise resistance needed in the shunt field circuit to achieve stable voltage generation? This is where the concept of critical field resistance emerges as a key factor in understanding and operating DC shunt generators effectively. Critical field resistance represents a pivotal threshold in the operation of a DC shunt generator. It is defined as the maximum field resistance value that still allows the generator to build up voltage when operating at its rated speed. In simpler words, if the resistance in the shunt field circuit exceeds this critical value, the generator will fail to generate the required voltage. To understand why this happens, we need to consider the relationship between field current, magnetic field strength, and induced voltage. Determining the critical field resistance is crucial during generator design and testing. It provides engineers with a vital parameter to select appropriate components and ensure stable operation. Various methods exist to find this critical value, but the most common method is to determine the value from open circuit characteristics. Having understood the concept of critical field resistance, we will now learn how to plot the OCC of the DC shunt generator. The image shows the experimental setup. The field winding is separated from the armature circuit. It's connected in series with an ammeter to measure field current and a rheostat to control resistance. An external DC source is connected to excite the field winding. The armature circuit is open circuited. A voltmeter is connected across the armature terminals to measure generated EMF. The DC shunt generator is operated at rated speed by decreasing the field resistance in steps from zero to a definite value. The readings of the ammeter and voltmeter are noted at each step. The field resistance is increased until the voltmeter shows a reading of 25% more than the rated voltage. Here it is noted that even with the increase in field current by decreasing field resistance, the EMF generated after point B is reduced. It is because of saturation. The OCC curve starts from point A instead of origin O because of the presence of residual magnetism in the generator poles, which generates small EMF E1 when the DC shunt generator runs at rated speed. The field resistance line at no load is noted. For example, if the field resistance of the DC shunt generator is 100 ohm at no load, then by considering the voltage and current axis as 100 V1A, the field resistance RF line is drawn. The field resistance line cuts the OCC curve at point C. Concerning point C on OCC, the voltage on the y-axis is no load voltage EO. The line OL is drawn tangent to the OCC curve, taking the value of the current axis when the tangent line OL passing through the dotted line of no load EMF. Critical resistance is calculated. Critical resistance is the slope of tangent line OL given as RC equal to OD by OE ohms. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or need further clarification.
Your feedback helps us create better content for you.